Okay, let's talk about how to find the median uh, when you are given a set of data. In other words, you're given a bunch of numbers like this. Uh, we would call this technically a data set. This could represent anything. But let's suppose we have the numbers 7, 1, 3, 9, 2, 0, and negative 4, and we want to find the median. Okay, what does that mean? How do we do this? Well, I'm going to explain this all in just one second, but I can tell you right now, this is one of the most confused things in mathematics, okay? And if you just kind of like read the news or watch the news, especially like the financial news, you're going to see that word median everywhere, okay? And this is often confused with this other word called the mean, okay? Typically, uh, a lot of people, when the word is like, oh, median uh, home sales, for example, and I'm just kind of using this as, you know, like an example of current events or talking about home sales in your local area, the median home sale is X, Y, or whatever the case is, a lot of people are, are thinking the mean, okay? So this is a real confused subject. This is not difficult, but it's something you want to understand, not only for math, but just to under, you understand like your, you know, um, current events and, and news articles and things that you uh, will read because the median, this word is out there, you know, uh, pretty frequently, all right? This is just as almost as common as terms of like the percent, okay? You'll see, hey, uh, X, Y, Z percent you know, percent of inflation, those things. These are real practical math concepts that you want to know. So we're going to clear up any confusion you've had about the meeting here in just one second. But first, let me uh, quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I can tell you right now, there's no such thing as a bad math student. So if you're failing math or struggling in math, well, I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't have to be that way, okay? So to be successful in math, it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work, all right? So you got to do the homework, take notes, all that good stuff. If you're doing that, the second part of uh, being successful in math is great math instruction. Super clear and understandable, comprehensive. That's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. I'm, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. We'll really, really help you out in your respective math courses. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with a math section, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, have great middle and high school homeschool math courses. And if this video helps you out, consider helping me out by liking it and subscribing to my channel. But uh, let's get into the median here. So we have a list of data, just random data, but the median, okay, again, you could, uh, this data here could be, let's say, for example, uh, home sales, okay, in your local city or town, uh, you know, we're talking about data, we're talking about trying to identify some trend in the data. So let's say this house here went for, I don't know, 500,000, this house went for 250,000, this house went for 300,000, this house went for 180,000, maybe this house went for, oh, I don't know, uh, 420,000. Uh, this is the type of um, articles and stuff you would see. It's like, hey, in your town with the, you know, the median home sale is whatever, okay? And what we're trying to do is to give some sense of some tendency to this data, okay? This is the whole idea behind this. And this is like a statistical concept, basic statistics. Um, so anyways, that's where this is this subject is at if you're studying um, you know, any course like algebra, you will have some basic data and statistics in that course. So let's get to it now. Okay. All right. So let's take a look, first of all, some basic, basic data sets. So we'll look at one, two, three, four, and five. And then we have one, two, and three, four. Okay. Now, the two things that people, the, the words that so many people confuse is the median and the mean. Okay. So when you're given... Uh, a set of data, okay, the median doesn't mean the mean. And a lot of people think it means the mean. The mean is the average, okay? So uh, don't confuse median with mean. A lot of people do, but the mean is the average. If I told you to find the average of these numbers, I would tell you, you know, to do what? Well, you would add up these numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, and then divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Pretty much, uh, hopefully, all of you out there know how to find the average, okay? If you're um, trying to find the mean, what you're going to be doing is calculating the average, okay? So um, that's different than the median, okay? The median 
is what? Well, let's just look at the word medium, okay? Just so you don't confuse this. Doesn't it kind of like remind you of the word middle? Okay, it's like the middle. Yeah, that's Well, that's exactly what it is, okay? The median is like the middle number. But it's the middle number when we write our numbers from lowest to highest, okay? So we have to first have our numbers uh, in a order, okay? Uh, we start with the least, and we order to the greatest. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's in, uh, in order. So what is the middle number? Well, we have one and two, one and two here. We have one right here. So the middle number, okay, when our data set, all these numbers here are written from least to greatest, that middle number, okay, is uh, what we call the median. All right, so how do we identify the median? Very easy, okay, just list your numbers out from uh, lowest to highest and then just identify that middle number, okay? And we can see here we have two numbers to the left and two numbers to the right, and there's our middle number. All right, now what happens, though, if we're given a data set like this? One, two, three, four, okay? Well, again, let's just make sure if I told you to find the mean, again, that would be the average, right? So we just calculate the average, one plus two plus three plus four, then we would divide by four. That's, again, the average. Don't confuse this, a lot of people do. But to find the median, Again, this is going to be the middle number. So you're like saying, okay, there's two numbers here, two numbers here. The middle number is what? Now, first of all, we can see that the numbers are listed from lowest to highest. So that's the first thing you need to do. But what is the middle number? Well, there is no middle number. You're like, hmm, there is no middle number. So what's the median? Maybe the answer is there is no median. No, that's not the case. So what you do is you have to do a tiebreaker. You have to take the two numbers that are closest to uh, the middle, which would be two and three, and we simply just find the average of those two numbers right there. So two plus three uh, divided by two would be 2.5. That would be the median for this uh, data set right there. Okay, so this um, has an even number. The data set is even. So anytime you have an even amount, you're gonna have to do this. If we have an odd amount, like one, two, three, four, five, this is an odd number, uh, an odd, uh, numbers of in our data set here, well, then you can always identify um, the median just by looking for that middle number, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and tackle this problem. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and show it to you right here, just in case you want to try it. Here is our data set. Go ahead and calculate the median. We're not going to do the mean. We're just going to do the median. So uh, what are our steps, okay? If you want to go ahead and do this, put your answer into the comment section. That would be awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and do this now. So our steps is what? Okay, well, our first step, again, is we have to order the numbers from lowest to highest. Okay, now if I look at this right here, our data set, uh, this is not ordered uh, uh, correctly for, to, in order for us to find the, the median. Okay, here, that's a, a big number. Okay, this is certainly not the least number. Then if you can see these numbers are not in order. So the first thing we have to do is order the number order the numbers from lowest to highest. Now here is a negative number, okay? the neg This negative four is the only negative number here. So this is the lowest number, okay? And then what, what's the least uh, number after that? The next lowest number, it would be zero. And then uh, all these are just positive numbers. So we have one, two, three, seven, and nine. Okay, so now we have our data set, our list of numbers written from lowest to highest. So we're kind of ready to go for the next uh, step. And that is, we just want to get a sense, is this odd or how many numbers do we have in our data set? Is it an odd amount or even amount? So let's just count them up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's odd, okay? Which means what? It means that we, we're going to easily be able to identify a middle number, okay? There'll be three numbers over here, three numbers over here, and then one number in the middle, so three and three at six plus one at seven numbers. So that middle number, we won't have to find the average to find the median. So the last step is uh, to identify the median. Okay, so we have our list written from lowest to highest. We're gonna have three numbers over here, three numbers over here, and you can see that middle number is two. Okay, so that is the median. Now, if you already knew all this, well, I must go ahead and give you a lovely little happy face and A plus 100%. And I'll give you a few stars for being pretty awesome in math, okay? So this is uh, falls under the category of just 
basic uh, statistical knowledge. Uh, there are some related terms, um, other things that you're going to need to find. If you're studying how to find the median, okay, you're definitely going to need to know how to find the mean. Again, that's the average. And then there's some other things called the mode, okay? And then there's some, some other things too called the range. So this is all again part of basic uh, basic statistics. If you need help with any of this stuff, I teach all of this in um, all of my math courses, pre-algebra, algebra one, et cetera, et cetera. I also have a ton of videos on this in my YouTube channel, and I also have math notes. And then you can find the links to those in the description of this video. But whatever you do, make sure you follow through and, and do practice problems, okay? Learning math is not the same as watching someone do math, okay? So you do these problems on your own, especially if you're trying to, you know, get ready for some sort of test or quiz. Um, that's the way you're going to be successful in mathematics. But hopefully this little video helps you out. Again, if that is the case, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. But uh, let's go and wrap it up by saying um, I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.